So my name's Emma Gibson. I'm the artistic director of Tiny Dynamite. Um, and we're a very small theatre company in Philadelphia. Um, our principal project is a play a pint a pint. Um, we look at new ways for audiences to experience theatre and new ways for artists to make theatre. And that's really our mission statement. Technoculture conference came up and so I sort of turned up on my own and sat at the back and listened to all these incredible speakers um, and Young Moo Kim gave the keynote speech that year and I was just so incredibly inspired by this kind of can-do approach to it and then I listened to like I think there was Opera Philadelphia, Longwood Gardens um, and I was just really inspired and I kept thinking well you know, why can't we use some of this technology? Um, so yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was very inspiring for me. So yeah, so we were looking at a way that two countries existing in two different, um, two companies existing in two different countries could collaborate on an artistic project without the need for a lot of money to pay for international flights, accommodation, visas, all that. Um, so we were looking at how, how might that be possible and we'd got a writer in the UK to sort of develop this very loose script and we were working on a scratch performance of that um, but it was really the very basic sort of um, beginning stages of that project and we had no funding and what we needed was technology support. We needed someone to come in and sort of advise us on what we could do and what else was available. Um, so I saw the call for submissions for the Techniculture and it just felt like a perfect fit because I just wanted knowledge at that point, I wanted ideas and um, it's very difficult to get those unless you sort of, you know where to look and I really didn't. Um, so yeah, that's why we applied. It's interesting being uh, from England and living in America. Um, and seeing the different sort of ways that theatre is made in both countries and, and the, the natural choice for me as a, a sort of British Philadelphian is to join those worlds. And I think that's inevitable anyway with sort of this new digital age of how people are going to collaborate. Um, and so what we're doing is we're looking for these new international collaborations that you can use um, using the latest technology, which for us is a live streaming platform. And I think, I think it's really exciting what this could, you know, how this reflects on what is happening in the rest of the world, like how this could grow. Like you could have, what we're doing is we're just collaborating with the UK, but you could have a production where you have actors in five different countries, I mean, that all get projected into the same theatre space, the same physical space. So I think there's potential and I think certainly in the UK there's lots of talk about this. I was reading yesterday that the National Theatre has set up this virtual reality lab. Um, they're working a lot with um, sort of backing up productions. They did a production of Alice in Wonderland and people could go in and sort of experience sort of different elements of the production through virtual reality. So I think it's beginning. I think, I don't know that we're doing anything particularly new. I think it but I think it's the way forwards, um, especially for small companies. I'd love to share that knowledge. Um, I think what's going to be exciting is we just got the Pew funds to bring it over here. And part of that process um, that we've submitted to do is um, the process of making it is going to be documented. And Ben's actually going to be doing that for us. And he's going to make a film about it. Um, so that's going to be really interesting and the purpose of that is to then share that with the theatre community in Philadelphia and say this is how we did it um, and how it was made. Um, and I think that's really important because I know there's so many amazing theatre companies in Philadelphia and they're all struggling you know, with funding and audiences and I think if we can share innovation and share what we've learned, I mean we had the privilege of working in te te with Techniculture and finding solutions that we would never have been able to do. We wouldn't have had the time, we wouldn't have had the, the resources. So I think the fact that we were able to get this knowledge um, and apply it to a production, you know, I would love to share that more, as much as we can. Yeah. 
Um, I thought it was um, it was a good experience. I think for us, where we were with the project, it would have been more helpful had that happened in September rather than March, because I felt a lot of the benefit of it was for an early stage project, which some of the organisations were at. Um, so that was a little tricky, but it was interesting because um, I found it really challenging. I found it really hard to understand the exercises that we were given and I think that's just me. <laughs> I, I really didn't understand it and, um, and that made me very frustrated because I really wanted to get something out of it. I really wanted to sort of come home with, with, with something that was useful. Um, but then it was really interesting because I was getting more and more frustrated and the lady who facilitated it, and I can't remember her name, no, yes, <laughs> came over to me at one point and she said, I think you're thinking too literally. And that was just brilliant. I was like, yeah, you are right. I'm, I'm looking for, I was in producing mode. I was like, okay, so how do we find a solution? And she was encouraging me to think in a different way. And that was really helpful. And certainly one of the things which I mentioned previously, the more we seemed to talk about the project, the more confused people became. And so we became aware that for even just in a marketing um, perspective, we needed to make it really clear um, what the project was. Um, so that was really useful. Uh, it was great to connect with other people in the industry. Well, the outcome is that we are now in a position where we've amazingly had um, our Pew application um, awarded to us, um, which is amazing because it's the first time we've applied to them. And, and that was kind of all going on at the same time. And that was really interesting because I don't know what you know about the Pew application process, but it's, an, it's a beast of an application form. I mean, it's an amazing experience, again, because as you go through this application process, you're learning and making decisions about your project. So we were going through that, and we were going through this residency. So it all kind of collided so beautifully with the, the conference because we got this incredible award from Barra, which really lifted us so much and then allowed us, is going to allow us to sort of really perfect the technology that we're working with. And then we now have the funding to bring it over to America. So it'll be coming, we're looking at July 2017, so a year. Um, and that's just, that was something we really didn't believe was going to happen, you know. It's so exciting and I just, you know, it's had an amazing response in the UK. Everyone's really excited about it. So, yeah, it'd be great to bring it to Philadelphia, you know, and say, well, this is what we have been working on and this is what you can do, you know. I just, we were just walking here and there's a big billboard saying, you're an artist there's no failure, you're already a success or something. On, and I was thinking about that because I remember when we were about to open the Lamellar in the UK and the, we were having terrible pro problems with connection. And the director, Helena Bell, came online and she just said, listen, it doesn't matter if we fail because we're trying something innovative here and kind of failure is part of that and the audience will get that. And we've had that. We've had situations where the audio has failed and um, the audience love that, you know, they, they kind of feel like they're part of it. And I think sort of if you choose to sort of play with technology, you kind of have to accept that it will fail at some point and that's okay. And so sort of accepting that has made me feel like, yeah, I do want to go on. I mean, I would love to. I would do any workshop, conference where I could learn more things that I could apply to art, you know. I think it makes sense. I think certainly on a visual level, um, we're, we've got your Cousineau working with us for the, um, on our projections for when we bring Lamellar over to Philly. And I'm really excited about learning from him, if I can, about anything he knows. And I think, I, I think we should, you know, all of us, we, we should, if we're sort of working in theater, we need to keep pushing the boundaries and, and keep I think our audiences need that. I think they're, they're bored of the same old, stale old theatre. And I think when it's done well, that's great. But if you haven't got much budget, then use technology to sort of fill those gaps. I think it's, yeah, I think Tiny Dynamite definitely will use it, if it's appropriate. Mm -hmm. We won't use it for the sake of it, but if it fits, then we'll definitely, definitely use anything we can.